Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris. We are... there's a lot of weird things going on. I mean, we're we're semi-working our way up to um, to robot stuff, although we do have to worry about the conservators because... or the conservers because they don't like sentient robots. Um, the other thing is there's this weird time loop worm thing going on, which is very cool. But we did just unlock the Pleasure Dome, which I just noticed is a food and unity building. I was just looking because I'm like, I wonder if I could just replace some of these farms because we don't need it. Also, I noticed that we didn't have a building here. So I'm going to do another pass through some stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and build the Paradise Dome over there. Um, and over here, I guess we're just going to build a science lab. That's going to be fine. Do -do 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 -do. You're moving in and out. And that's fine. That's going to happen from time to time. Um, so probably you're going to want one more of that. So like over here, let's get a Paradise Dome on all our planets. You know, if we've got the materials for it. I'm not going to upgrade these quite yet, because I'm going to wait for the materials to kick in. We're building a lot of new mineable things over here. That's going to be one part of the priority, is mine all the space stuff we can. And then the other thing will be uh, the pleasure domes. Entropic recursion is done. Spiral fed power hub. So we're going to want one of those on every planet, too. Produces a lot of energy. The universe tends irres irresistibly onwards and downwards. That tendency cannot be reversed, but it can be subverted for a price. I wonder if we'll unlock any more weird stuff. Uh, that's a little pricey for us right now. Um, we could consider more laser stuff. That's not really the direction we're going in right now. You know what I think we're going to do is just get the next tier of labs. I think we're going to be looking at those fairly consistently. Flesh is weak. We've got 50 months left to do that. Still just running the game on fastest speed right now. That's okay. So yeah, ever since we changed our happiness rules, we have a little bit, well, a lot less minerals. But, you know, our people are pretty pleased, so that's nice. I want to keep my people happy. Uh, Kraz Prime really needs some love, doesn't it? It, it? it do. Let's go and clear out a couple of those blockers. Um, can I build the... As I say, probably the Pleasure Dome, or Paradise Dome, needs an administrative thing. Yeah, which... Needs more pops, which needs more things cleared. So, anyway, I'll just go and clear a few of those while I forget. While I forget, exactly. Um, hold on a sec. So we could go and uh, just expand the sector over here. The sector is getting pretty big, although that's not necessarily a bad thing. Just to reduce micro. Okay, it's about time we got this. You remember we like moved those gas people ages ago? Um. Yeah, so they're back, and they want that. Normally you get them a lot closer together, but okay. That's fine. We will go ahead and pl help plan that. Go to... I'm gonna grab one of our science ships over here. And you can go and research that. Ah, the waiting world. Here we go. So this is still on Zeldra Prime. Uh, where we found those abandoned buildings. The number of colonists continues to increase, and now we're finding irreg irregularities in the records. Family groups that shouldn't exist. Birth dates that make no sense. There must be secret migration from a lost colony, or else some particular peculiar sabotage by the colonists. Destroy those buildings. No, we're not going to do that. We could always use more citizens. Monitor and continue. Oh. What are they? They are xenophilic. Okay. That's sovereign planets. They now like aliens a little bit more. Well, if they're going to keep dropping some pop on here, we better uh, clear some more tile blockers. Make some room for them. Because, actually, it is capped, and we've got a lot of robots here. Maybe been able to rush more people a little sooner if I'd cleared these tile blockers or built fewer robots. Okay. Oh, one of our scientists died, and now we have no science over here. I don't suppose we have anyone with statecraft? No. Do we... I'll, I'll take the experience gain one. That's going to be okay. We'll put you in there. That's going to be fine. Uh, since you, you're not doing any research here, I'm actually going to... Hang on. Shift you. You grab that. You grab that. There we go. Because your your skill points over here were being wasted. Okay, that's fine. This is ultra prime. I don't know what's going to happen with this system. Uh, unspent civic points. Unspent civic points that could be used to improve our government. 
I don't, I don't understand. Why is it showing me the demographic screen? It's not Unity. I, it's not a tradition. It's meant civic? I don't understand. Okay. Civic slots plus one. All right. Empire modifier. And a new building. So first of all, let's queue up a new research. Um, terraforming options would be damn handy. We're going to work on some of that. Oh. 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 That's different. Okay. So... More research alternatives, less unrest. Fewer consumer goods would actually be huge right now because it's eating a crap ton of our stuff. Influence, energy, no. Farms produce unity. That would be a lot of unity. That would be a lot of unity. We could also just empire's mineral production plus 10. Uh, what would statistically be the most? So our raw output is what, like 350? Consumer goods are eating. Oh, I guess, okay, 210 is our actual output. And we're eating a lot of that. So I think the 20% discount over here would actually lead us to more material. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I don't know. Not going to sit here and, uh, and actually math it out, nor exactly figure out all the mechanics here. But yeah, anyway, things are better. Oops, some wars are starting. That's fine. Construction ship over here is idle. We're going to send you over here to build those mining stations. There we go. Keep. We're going to focus on trying to get our mineral count up a little bit higher here. <laughs> nice, that's it. With more population, we need more uh, more goods as well. So that's, that's definitely something. Uh, oh yeah, let's keep up the, the patron of the arts. That's fine. And tech's pretty much the same. So I'm going to build engineering facilities because we got lots of physics one. We, we up, start upgrading the physics ones to level two, then the balance will no longer be, well, in balance. Um, that dome, we've got the energy stations, but I can live, I, well, I'm going to leave more energy soon, but not quite yet. Paradise dome. Oh, it's too expensive. Okay. But yeah, that's quite good. Get more and more unity. We get a boost from the pacifism. We get the patron of the arts, our chairman. It's not bad. We're actually quite close to get another one, probably. Ah, I say that. 13,000. Special project completed. Oh, the convoy. Okay. Oh, we get, um... We can get some, uh... Some extra, what you call it. Anyway, things. Um, society research, but we need to build it. I don't think we need any projects. Again, what I want to do at this point is probably just get... I don't know. I don't know where you're going to go assist research. Do it there. It's fine. I should probably have them tagged in some way to make it a little easier for me to keep track of. You are going to upgrade your central building, please and thank you, because then we can get the zoo going on. Um, overall, we're mostly... Oh, we do want the unity building. As I say, we want more research, and that is true. Research and minerals, and and then we're broke. That actually costs us exactly the amount. There we go. And we're going to queue up another mine over here. The waiting world. Everyone is. Further unlikely news from Eldra Prime, where the population had been mysteriously increasing. Um, population numbers are now what we'd expect, but there has been some sort of information sabotage, or, or what our administrators aren't really sure. None of the individuals on the planet exists in our records. None of them? Every original colonist is missing. It's as if they've been replaced by complete strangers. And against that, they all swear they're loyal citizens of Quillian bureaucracy. They're all productive and apparently sane. In a communications, they deny all knowledge of any confusion and insist there must be some sort of mistake at our end. <laughs> Pan immediately. Grant independence to the colony. No, no, we'll send a team to investigate. Issue special project. Investigate the whatever happened to the population. Okay, um, Foundling, you're actually going to come over here. I think it's very appropriate that Foundling does that kind of work. Let's go and sort this stuff out. Construction ship. You are going to... So presumably you're working on that, so we're going to let you keep doing that. You're going to come over here and build mining stations for me. 
Ah, oh, another scientist just died. Uh, that's gonna happen. We had a few scientists that we hired all at the same time, so... Um... Yeah, I guess you'll just take the field research. We're not doing any field research right now, but that's okay. We'll get some things to increase leader lifespan a little bit more later on, too. Fleet's just chilling. That's okay. Terrestrial sculpting. So terraforming is now done. We don't need more core sectors. Atmospheric manipulation allows us to also change the climate of the planet when terraforming them. I think we're going to want to rush the pair of these. More lifespan, although that's really expensive. Yeah, we don't need the horrible farms, although we could really start to aggressively be replacing some of the farms on the planets. We have ridiculous food, and I think that is indeed what's going to happen. I keep, you know, building farms in places that sort of, you know, where we've got the food, but I think we're going to start ignoring some of those things. Especially on our core systems, because in our sectors, we've told our sectors to pay attention to the terrain, so our sectors will keep producing a fair amount of food. So yeah, our core systems, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Can I just, like, destroy this pop? Like, is there a way for me to get rid of a robot once I've got it? Hmm. Not Zelda Prime. Do that, yeah. There we go. And presumably, they're not unhappy about that. Are you going? Did I not do that right? I don't know. We'll revisit in a second here. Um, what the hell? Let's go ahead and do that. I mean, we're still mineral poor more than energy poor, but now what? Applied oh, physics lab two. Excellent. I still really want the sentient AI. I really want the sentient AI, but we can't fight those other guys yet. Colony development speed. We don't really need this. Just go and do the hard research for, like, the crazy um, labs. Probably worthwhile doing. And then just upgrade our, our tech research rates like crazy. I think that's really what we've got to focus on right now, is increasing our tech output. Um, so, if I were to say, what's a big planet? There you go. So there's a size 22 Arctic world over here. Okay, so I need atmospheric manipulation to go all the way to continental world, which is what we're looking for. All right, so we'll just wait for that to finish, because that sounds pretty good. I'm going to go and set an edict to focus on society research, actually, so we can get that faster, because I think that will be very useful to do. We don't have anyone with the green flag, no. No one here, no. Okay. So I was like, we could get some extra scientists. Construction ship is idle here. We're going to keep going for mineral mines there and then there. Because we really need to get a rate up if we're going to build our, their fleet. We're only halfway to our force limit here, which isn't great. Oh yeah, the science ship is arriving over here, so it'll be really interesting to see what kind of developments occur on Zeldra. Really interesting. I'm not going to upgrade anything yet. We're going to wait to see what goes on here. Oh, that's a construction ship finishing its job. Um, keep going for minerals. Please. Alright, it's going to go pretty quick. Too many colonists. Now it seems to be a completely different population. What happens? They've been, like, sent through time and weird things, but they don't realize that's happening. There's something bizarre. Okay, everything and nothing. Our team reports that the population of the planet are healthy, normal, and apparently bewildered by all the fuss. There are some pe peculiarities, though. An unusual number of multiple births, a planet-wide idiosyncrasy where no one has any regard for punctuality, and fluctuations in local solar radiation that are characteristic of pre-supernova stars. They also observe a number of luminosity events on the surface where light somehow appears to be accumulated and released by prismatic functions of the atmosphere. This is valuable and peculiar data, but it could be a coincidental. If anything has happened to the colonists, remains a mystery. What will be was, so we gain a thousand physics research, or colonists. Colonies are odd. Colonists, colonists are odd. No, no, let's just keep repeating the chant. So that's it. 
Foundling is done. Star charts, sure, that's fine. Central office, so you have your assisting research here. QR department, you're not being assisted, so we're going to get you to come here and assist. Okay, flesh is weak, still being worked on. Um, fair number of minerals, so let's go and upgrade some science labs. There go. Burn through that pretty quick. What's this? Atmospheric manipulation, excellent. Um, we'll probably want some biolabs in here. Now, if we keep going down here, I think we get more biological, like, manipulation tech, which would be pretty good. Uh, we don't need, I mean, we don't actually need better farms, although it means we can make loot. Oh, the loop institute! Wait, 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 is there a loop building in every category? No, that's right, we, okay, we got some other thing. I don't know, we want this. That is a lot of bio-research. Governing ethics, attraction, happiness. Wow, oh, that'll help offset the other unhappiness source. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with this. Let's get uh, a couple more lab upgrades here. Um, so we're not going to build more farms here. We can build the Paradise Dome, though. And get the mines upgraded, because that would be quite handy. Yeah, we still need a lot of love in there. We should take a look at one of our sectors at some point, too. Um, out of curiosity, uh, the other category here. One of these curators. Get us in our research. 5,000 credits. Yeah, we need to maintain this, like, non-stop here if we can. We just need a lot more credits. Star charts? Sure. And actually, we're not making tons of money here. It's mostly because we haven't really been looking at upgrading our stuff too, too much. Construction complete. Construction complete. Many constructions. Okay, you're done there. We're just looking for red minerals, like, in the Borbo system over here. Please and thank you. Our mineral output is getting better. We still don't have much of a fleet. And we've got some neighbors, and we don't have a defensive pact, so... Things could go really badly, really quickly. I should probably look into doing that, but I feel like, oh my god, we just have, you know, we got a lot of work here. Uh, it's probably worth upgrading this building. Like, the central administration, upgrading that as quickly as possible is always very beneficial. Um, and our mines. Okay, you've leveled up. Okay. Sensor links. And did some rivalries. Still 13,000? Yep. Paradise Dome is actually quite handy. One defensive war, ship build speed is increased, fire rate going up is actually kind of awesome within our borders. It's actually pretty huge. And then less ethics divergence. But yeah, we'll just keep going to another ascension perk and see what we can do. Uh, latest following, donate minerals to gain influence with them. Now, is that what does that do? Sure, you know what, we'll just keep patroning you. It's fine. Fine, fine, fine. So, I don't know if these borders are actually going to connect over here. They might. I hope so. So we probably want to, you know, create some more sectors. Um, you're out of there. Well, let's go ahead and mine and mine. Thank you. And so you need a robot. Central office. Yeah, I don't think you ever resettled. So the two that are working that is fine. Resettle. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I must not have done it right before. QR department, how you doing? Because I want to get rid of the robots on the farms, because I'm probably going to be replacing a lot of farms. Like you. Resettle. Kraz. Boom. There we go. Okay, much better. So yeah, there's no one working that right now, but that's okay. And yeah, that'll probably get replaced with something that's not a farm later. Maybe even now. More science is good. More minerals is also very good. I think I'll focus mostly on minerals here. Um, on the basis that my sectors are being told to prioritize science. 
think that's probably reasonable. Inactive building, yeah, that's just one I just did. Well, I mean, that might be another one, but that's okay. You're working on that. Oh, right, we've got, okay, we've got the full terraforming. So right over here, no. That's a size 20. I think there was a 22. Here we go. Size 22, Arctic World. Terraform to Continental. Will cost 2,500 energy and take 10 years. Acceptable. So one shot energy, so I don't have to worry about, like, you know, maintaining it. Just if we hit a lot of money, then we'll go and do it. There's another good one over here we probably want to do. It's already in a sector and everything, so that's going to be okay. You finish that queue. Another level. Our scientists are doing pretty well. And giving me a pretty big boost. Tradition available. Okay. So we have to hit this button. Kinship. So we don't get more ethics divergence based on distance. That's fine. Wait. How's that? Three of five. Oh! That didn't take mine and body. Ah, poop. For some reason I thought it was already lit. Ah, I would have much preferred that. That's okay. In vivo. Xeno researchers on Xeno archaeology have published an open letter demanding that the local legislation restriction experiments on near sanctioned aliens be relaxed. They make a convincing case for the scientific benefit and warn that the output of the entire scientific community over here will suffer unless the laws are revised. Because we've got pre sentient races over here, right? Yes, we do. Um, we can accede to their demands. The locals will not be happy about this. We gain some science, but. For two years, these guys will be unhappy on this planet. Or we get a huge penalty. You know what? It's not even two months worth of stuff, but I don't care. Science. It's probably costing us more than we actually gain there. I don't care. If you're going to give me a choice between science and not science, I'm going to hit the button that, like, encourages science, even if in the long run we actually kind of lose some out. Because, yeah, we can't, can't force resettle... We've got very friendly laws for this. You... Oh, this is a managed sector. Okay, so we can't do anything with you. That's fine. Do, 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 do. Finish your construction queue. Excellent. Oh, we got lots of minerals. Aha! Cybernetic revolution! We finished! Cybernetic conversion process has been completed. All of our citizens have now been equipped with neural implants and basic cybernetic suites. Transquillians. Look at us. Cybernetic. So, even more habitability. Oh my god. So it's like super redundant what we've done. But alright, fine. Um, it's dawn of a new era. So more army damage, more minerals, more habitability. Transquillions. Alright, fine. That's pretty crazy. So we don't really need to terraform as much at all, which is insane. Uh, we would like to revisit our research agreement, please. Yeah, we'll get more out of it than them, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Let's give you some energy credits. Confirm. Oh, let's make this, uh... Ooh! Okay, ten years it is. And... Another research treatment over here has expired. So you're in favor. Really in favor, because it's more advantageous to you, but I don't really care. And trade, oops. Trade is a non-zero-sum game, man. It's okay if someone gets more out of something than you do, as long as you're still getting something out of it. I mean, try to get as much out of it as possible. But that's okay. Alright, construction ship. Uh, yeah, go ahead and do that, followed by that. Oh yeah, you've got crazy path to get there. That's fine. Um, upgrade the central building over here. Yes, please. And then more science. Nothing to upgrade here at all. Really? Any swaps? Do you have uh, the Paradise Dome? Oh, Spiral-Fed Power Hub. Now that's one per planet, right? Okay, I mean, we're definitely going to replace an existing one with that. But yeah, we might go and throw some more of these... That, it, that does have the sci the happiness decrease, but that's okay. How come I can't do one here? I'm confused. Why is it grayed out? This one where I just started one? No, I don't think so. I don't know. Whatever. Get a little bit of tech going. That's fine. Um, the minerals, yes. And then we're out. Okay. I must not have had enough to spend it on, but I didn't see anything highlighted in red. It was probably there in front of my face. OK, 
Okay, you like that. Good. I like that too. Loop Institute. It's going to help for our happiness. Zeldra, are you still all weird? I mean, you never got any sort of weird modifier, which is kind of entertaining to me. Uh, what are you doing there? Uh, you actually get a fair amount of minerals on this planet, so yeah, build a mineral processing plant. That's going to be fine. Clear some blockers. Cannot afford. And clear. There we go. Thank you. What did I just finish? Assembly planners. Faster building speed. That actually will be very handy. Uh, the turbo research would be good. Mining network 3, I think, is the way to go. We've got a discount for it as well. Um, so yeah, we're just going to want to upgrade all of our buildings to get insane materials. That will increase our cost, but we've got um, we've got some extra money buildings coming up as an option soon. And again, we'll probably be replacing farms in our core worlds with extra, probably extra money. Money, science, maybe minerals, but, you know, some combination. Desert world, look, that's 85% habitable now. I don't think know if that one's worth grabbing. This arid world has a lot of science bits available, so I think that would be an excellent, excellent choice for us to... Oh, that's these guys, 85%. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Boom. Go and settle that. Do, 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 do. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for planets that have a lot of innate science as much as possible. What do you want? Active tension link, and you'll give me some minerals. Sure, that's fine. Kras still needs a heck of a lot of love. Starting with just clearing that. And then... Mineral processing plant. I don't think you're going to have enough for the 10%. Although you do get upgrades to it. It's more expensive. Is the 10% worth it on this planet? Probably not. But a couple of mining networks is going to be okay. So we'll get you. Although, we could go and replace all these farms here. Oh, you get the society input bonus, output bonus. I do want the minerals, may as well. Um, but you know what? The farms are going to get overridden with society research labs is what's going to happen. And we'll get them to try to focus on that if we can remember. What is that? Kras Prime here, right? Let's do, let's do, um, so this is going to be the cult, well, I'll just call it Society Research Center. There we go. Uh, center that way. Do, 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 do. If you're American, I think you always use ER. And I think if you're British, you always use RE. In Canada, we have this weird, like, duality where if we're talking about something that's centered, like something that's in the middle, we tend to write T-E-R. And if we're talking about a building, like, you know, the so-and-so center, then we write T-R-E. Um, you know what? We're, we're going to unsubscribe from your newsletter. I think we're still patron of the art somewhere, so that's going to be... It's going to be fine. I think we're patron of the art in two different places, or some damn bullshit. So, because we still have the 15%. Good. Done. Um, we still need... I don't remember how much we need. Oh, we need like 5,000 money to go and get the uh, the science boost. Okay, well, we'll see what we can do about that. Upgrade the mine, yes. Upgrade the tech over here, yes, that's fine. Uh, cafeteria is still supposed to be food-oriented, and we'll leave that theme in here. Although you're being assisted with research. You've got quite a bit of it. You know what? Cafeteria be damned. Uh, yeah, get a loop institute. We want to build that in as many places as possible. There you go, loop institute, thank you. Um, more habitability. Again, sort of moot with what we've got. I don't really care about more core systems, though. Engineering bay. Could just go for more capacity, which we will appreciate later on. This is the cheapest, and lets us cycle as quickly as possible. I'm, I'm going to grab this, because we will want a higher capacity later on. Um, so, let's replace some more farms with cool stuff, like a loop institute. And definitely upgrade the mines. That's never going to change. Oh, upgrade the center. That's going to be okay. Clear a couple of tiles. That's maybe overspending on this planet. Um, upgrade a couple of mines over here. Uh, we're going to swap the robots around. Oh, you don't have a mine yet either. Mineral processing plant? 
I'm gonna have three mining centers. Sure. And oh, we can't afford declared. Okay, just keep running for now. All right, well, we'll put another cut in here. I mean, we're our tech rate. We've been boosting it pretty substantially recently. Um, it'd be nice to keep going. Our edicts. This is gonna be fine. It is nice to get the the research speed. Costs us influence, but it might be worth doing. Still love the grand uh, fleet over here. Doesn't help us build any cheaper. Just upgrade cheaper, which isn't that critical right now. Um, idle construction ship. Let's go and give you a job to get some more minerals over here. Boop. I'm worried we're going to have to put a frontier outpost here if we ever want to connect that up. But, I mean, Vega could stay as a core colony. That That's possible. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.